Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create college animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So my friend, for support me, just click subscribe button. So that's all. Thank you very much and let's back to video. So guys, first one, let's select all of them layers and height. Let's create new solid layer for background. Add name background and choose color black. Then go to FX presses, search FX fill, choose fill, use for background. And go to color cube, choose light black. And move to behind of layers. And select this background, Ctrl D for duplicate, and change name grid. And let's remove fill effect. Go to FX presses, search effect grid. Choose grid, use for layer grid. And size form, width slider. Change width and border. Let's write here 3 and opacity. Let's look for now buff layers. And select this layer tree, let's move to up and enable. Right click and precombs. Add name tree and choose move all attributes to new composition. And OK. Select this tree, go to puppet pin tool, let's click this angle for C black background and let's add one puppet here and one here and here. After add puppets, go to mesh one, let's open inside and deforms. We have seven puppets deforms. Let's select these two up to seven and open settings. Okay, select puppet pin two and hold alt. Let's click this icon for open expression. Right expression wiggle one six. And for down expression, click this empty area and play animation. OK. Let's copy this wiggle expression and open puppet pin 3. Hold Alt, click time icon and paste here expression. Then let's change this 9. Let's see. OK. Close puppet pin 3 and puppet pin 4. Hold Alt, click time icon. Ctrl V4 paste and right here 7. Let's see. OK. And puppet pin 5, hold Alt. Let's paste here, change again 5. And puppet pin 6, again paste here 2. And the last one, puppet pin 7. Let's add here and write 10. Okay, not bad. It works. So let's close conversation and choose these three and go to shape layers, hold this icon, choose ellipse tool and let's unselect. Let's click here for this empty area and let's create one ellipse tool for shadow. Clearization tool, go to fill color and choose black and let's change name shadow tree one. And also this composition 3 1. So select the shadow 3 1, link to composition 3 1. And select this 3. Let's click toggle switch mods and choose two layers. Click this icon for turn on 3D layer. And select shadow, move to behind of 3 and move to center. So in this time, select these two layers. Again, let's create composition. Make composition. Add name 3, 1 and OK. Back to main composition. Let's click for turn on 3D layer again. And let's say animation. OK, Ctrl D for duplicate. This is 3, 2. And move to left, move to back with Z axis. Again, Ctrl D, move to right. And move to back a little bit. OK. So in this time, go to layer, new and create new camera tool. And I will use presets 50 millimeters. Click OK. For camera movement controls, choose camera one, 
right click camera and create orbit node and for move the anchor point to center hold ctrl double click pen behind icon Clicization tool and choose orbit null press p and let's zoom to like this and go to five keyframes create new passing keyframe and go to three seconds and move to back with the z-axis okay let's enable tight selection save and select buff keyframes and move to center like this so select two frames and make it easy or click f9 go to graph editor and choose graph make smooth animation also select last few frame move to left let's see okay back to two frames okay so in this time let's select this window layer enable also left and right select these left and right layers let's link to window layer and select window left and right layers click 3d icon for turn on 3d layers and move to up select this window layer and let's see okay go to here and select this window press p and move to front like this Okay, select this camera null object, press U for C Q frames, go to last Q frame and move to back more like this. So select this window and press S change scale and move to left. Preview animation again. Select this layer left, go to solo and go to anchor point and move to left. Clization tool, press R and change rotation for open window okay let's see nice and select this layer right go to solo and move the anchor point to and move the anchor point to right and press r chain rotation let's preview animation okay in this time let's create y rotation keyframe for right and for left layer go to here and change rotation zero also this zero and make it keyframes easy for close windows let's see okay select keyframes go to graph editor and choose graphs and make smooth animation and choose work area okay Let's select these two frames, move to right for more randomly animation. Okay, that's good. Time to create car animations. Select this car for let's enable and move to here. Move to up to trees and press S change scale and move to down. And let's press P, move to left and in this time let's create new person in two frame go to here and move to right this car select two frames make it easy and let's see car animation let's click mouse on blur icon okay for now let's turn off mouse on blur for fast work and select this car 3 let's enable and right click go to transform and flip horizontal press s chain scale move to down and move to right let's see timing select these car two frames move to left okay and car three let's press p create new passing two frame move to left and go to here, move to left this car. Select two frames, make it easy and preview animation. Nice. Select this car two, let's enable. Press S, chain scale, move to down. And let's timing. Okay, press P, create new passing two frame, move to left. and go to here and move to right 
make it few frames easy. So, and let's car select car one, enable, press S, let's right click, go to transform and flip horizontal again. Press S, chain scale. And move to here. And press P, create new passing Q-frame. Go to here and move to left for slowly. Make it Q-frames easy. And select last Q-frame, move to right. Let's choose these two Q-frames, move to left. Okay, choose work area and select these car layers, move to up to 3 and choose all car layers, enable motion blur. Okay, so in this time, let me show you how to put this car inside the window. Let's go to layer, new and solid layer, add name mask. Let's choose color white, click OK. And go to mask tools, hold this icon, choose rectangle tool and press T, change opacity and let's add mask like this. Change opacity again 100. And in this time, select these car layers and go to click toggle switch mods. We can see track matte here. Let's track matte to mask layer. And let's see. Okay, that's all. It works. Let's preview animation. Nice, very good. So for final, select this screen, drag and drop into conversation, and change scale for fit screen, and go to mode, choose here, add. Okay, that's good. Also select dust, drag and drop into composition, change scale for full screen. Let's see. Okay, and let's mode add. Okay, here we go. It's done. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.